What's up guys, JFM here, welcome back! Today I have 8 massive redstone contraptions to show you guys, and they are all so, so, so awesome. I cannot wait for this. If you guys are excited, please go ahead and smash that like button below. But first off, let me uh, step back and actually introduce this map properly. Let's go check out who made this thing. Mr. Geller M. Abdullah. Thank you, and this zoom is absolutely unbearable. Uh, <laughs> what, what is, out the door we go. Oh geez, okay, let's fix this. Where were we? All right, so let's check out the first build. I'll just jump right into it. So, well, first I, th I should probably mention that. Yes, there are eight awesome redstone contraptions here. I want to demonstrate how they work, and then I guess I'll show you guys a little bit of the redstone. But first things first, let's check out this combination lock door, which is fairly simple. It is just a nine button combination lock door, and you submit four numbers, kind of like iPhones, if you have one of those. Huh? No, okay, all right, okay. <laughs> so, we do have the passcode here, it gives it to us, it is 1649. So obviously, you're gonna hit the one key, then the six key, then the four key, there we go, and then the nine key, and it should open up the door. See, very, very simple. And then I think we can, yes, reset it from here. And if we check out the red zone in the back, this is what it looks like. So if you guys wanna actually download the map itself, you'll be able to mimic this. I don't know how to explain this, but uh, somehow it works. But there is a trick to this thing. It also has a defense mechanism. So check it out. If I accidentally hit this sign, I don't know the passcode anymore, completely forgot it, and I just guessed, let's say I hit this one, then I hit uh, this one, and then I hit this one down here, and then I hit this one up here, it's actually going to, well, there we go, <laughs> okay, I was in peaceful. So yes, if you do mess up the passcode, it will dispense zombies as the defense mechanism. So very, very cool. <gasps> Yeah, uh, I'm boss. I'm, I'm, I'm boss. You know, that's what it is. Okay, so next <laughs> next up, we have a dispenser bridge. So check it out. Let's walk up here and uh, take a look. So this is the lava bridge, and uh, you can turn it on and off. So check it out. You couldn't pay me money to walk past this, but <laughs> switch it off, and it's a safe walk across the whole entire thing. So it's really, really good, I guess, for maybe making a hallway and then having a button on one side so you can basically lock yourself in. So if someone's chasing you, they, they won't be able to follow you back through. So very simple design, it's, it's fairly easy. You just gotta put lava inside of a dispenser and face it up and you get a lava bridge. Pretty cool stuff. Definitely a fan of this one. Another very simple design, a water bridge. And it's exactly the same except with water. So this won't stop people from getting across. It'll just slow them down. But if they have a boat, it could potentially speed them up. So I'm not sure what the point of this one is. I guess it'll stop Enderman though, so that's good. But other than that, it's pretty pointless. <laughs> Let's check out the next build on the list, which happens to be a dispenser water elevator. Check it out. So we are up at the top and we need to get down safely and uh, it doesn't look very safe. Well, what you do is you flip the lever on and then off and then take the water. Okay, uh, right. <coughs> flip the lever on, then off, then on again. Then off again, what, what's going on here? There we go, perfect! And now, I can take the elevator down. See, I, just uh, just a little bit uncoordinated, I, I would say. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. This one is a flaming arrow dispenser, which is pretty cool. Basically, what happens is, the arrows get dispensed through lava and become flaming arrows. So let's check it out. Let's turn it on. There we go. It's gonna shoot normal arrows, right? You see it. You've seen it. You've seen it live. Look, oh, we got uh, all these arrows over here. Now, if I turn on the lava, check it out. There we go. Now, if I switch the arrows on, it's going to shoot flaming arrows, which are a little bit better than regular arrows, if I do say so myself. So, very, very cool technique, and you can also turn on and off the lava with a simple switch of a button. So this is a very cool idea. Very, very cool. I, I would love to do this in my world, honestly. Very cool, very cool. So, that's something I know a lot of you guys knew, uh, you know, how to make the arrow cannons, but adding lava into it makes it a little bit more devastating, and that is definitely something a lot of people may be interested in. 
This next sign says, if the rain comes, this place will be explode. Now, you guys, <laughs> now you guys know what he means. Uh, when rain comes down, this cauldron will fill up and will explode. Now, it happens because there's a comparator in, in all sorts of cool stuff, but let's just go ahead and make the rain fall. Luckily, I do have the simple commands mod installed so I can turn uh, weather rain on. So let's see, is that it? Is that what I gotta do? Yes, there we go, it's raining. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Now we just gotta wait, and hopefully this thing will fill up. Oh, there we go, that was easy. And there we go! <laughs> Thought it was gonna take way longer than that, but as you can clearly see, that one's done, let's move on to the next thing. So this one is an item elevator, and here's the little tutorial that we have. Fill 64 items in the chest. If the dropper sound is up here, all items is up and turn on the lever. Not too sure the English behind that. He is foreign, he's from Indonesia, but we can go ahead and try this out. So if I put 64 stained clay inside of this bottom thing, then I hit the lever like so, all the items are gonna be sucked up through the elevator, which is basically a ton of droppers on top of each other, and eventually they'll make it all the way up to the top and uh, come inside of here. So, as you can see, it's accumulating all of the red stained clay we put in the bottom, and it's basically flowing its way up to the top. So there we are, very, very simple. Uh, very cool design though, and uh, it's an easy way to transport items up flights of, uh, flights of stairs. This next thing is an elevator, and it is absolutely awesome. I had no idea how this would work, but it really does, and it works very, very well. So you step on these trap doors, and the tripwire just opens them up as you go down, so you take a nice and simple fall. Now you could just put water down here, but come on, let's be honest. That's a lot cooler. That's a whole lot cooler. <laughs> and finally, last but certainly not least, we have the reverse of this. This is the up elevator. All you gotta do is walk in and then jump up and, okay, uh, let's get this right, please. There we go, no, okay, come on, come on. There we go, jump up and the trap doors will snap into place and hold your weight and you can easily climb up, oh, well. And there we go. Oh, well, I kind of flew, but you get the picture. That, <laughs> that is that. So that is the final of the redstone build. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Oh, nine. Wait, whoa, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <gasps> There are nine. Well, I'll call it eight, because that's what I said at the beginning. But there we go. That is that. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this awesome video. If you found any of these useful, uh, please go ahead and try them out yourself. I will, of course, leave the map download link in the description below, so you can check them out all in detail if you'd like. But hopefully, you got some ideas. If you have other ideas that were not in this video, you think that maybe are even cooler than some of these ones, please let me know and make a map yourself. Maybe I'll review it. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching, and as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.